Right then, so what I'm going to do, yes, do a little mandala, but I'm going to. Now, you don't have to do this with a compass, but you could do it with some little things, couldn't you? Like lids and that. I've got them there, look. Yay. Just, this is only for a guide. It's not because I'm going to do it on that level. Oh, dear. So, this is my new compass, okay? The one that actually does. If you saw my uh, video the other day when I was making that flower envelope, it's hilarious. So, oh dear, is that gonna? You can actually put a pen in there, but I'm not going to because I'm going to do this fairly lightly. So that's about an inch wide one, or half an inch actually, probably. Ooh, that's not a bad guess. It's actually a bit over. And then I'm going to do one a little bit bigger. Mm, it's only it's only a guide to keep me in the circle. That's all because I'm useless. Okay, so I could just get little items that's a little bit big. In fact, I would start with the biggest one. Then you can gauge. If you got, if you're using lids, I would use the biggest one first, and then um, to the smallest, and you can see where you're putting it. Obviously, when you're doing the compass, you want it the other way round. So I don't know how many inches that is. Probably about two, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, not nearly two. Yeah, not bad, eh? And then I'm probably going to do... Yeah. And let's do one more, just in case. All I'm going to do is get some colours into this and probably some patterns too, using paint. This is watercolour paper, £300, 140 GSM. It's just a any old watercolour paper it's nothing special apart from it's cold pressed which means it's got a bit of a how is it cold pressed hold on it might not actually be cold pressed. it might be hot pressed but it, any will do i thought i was using my new pad but never mind <laughs> i'm not actually using my new can you see what those circles what i've done anyway i'm going to get some I got, i'm excited because i've got some new drawers for my birthday even though my birthday's next Actually, it'll come out on my birthday. And can you see my new pink mat? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm getting all my new pink mat. I've got everything out because I was looking for my compass. Actually, I was, I was locating my compass. You can also, I tell you what you could use if you like, to, for this guide, some your pencil if you like. You can use that. You can always get rid of the marks afterwards or paint them out. So you don't have to do exactly what I do. But I don't even know what I'm doing, so don't worry about it. Just you just carry on, don't you? Just do it. I don't know what colours. This is exciting because I've not got a plan. So if I'm getting the arm in the way, don't worry. What should we use first? I think some really nice. Oh, what about that violet? I just got my eye on that. It's about one, two. That might not even be violet. And I tell you what I'm doing with this. I'm going to scan it and just use this. Okay, and possibly put it in my journal. Let's see how big it is. Oh, look, handy ruler. Handy ruler. I wanted it about four inches, so it's six, so I can do it. It's what's four inches? It's about there, isn't it? So just a bit after that. But you can cut it out at what you like. You don't have to use the whole lot. Um, whatever, you know, you can, if you're going to scan it, and you can also make them smaller. Oh yeah, yeah, see. So I'm not going. I'm not even keeping to the edge because my painting is that erratic. Yeah, but never mind, eh? I'm going to use a smaller brush in a minute. Do some pe um, some um, different colours. I've got my idea. My eye. My eye is just t t in my inner eye. <laughs> Red oxide. It isn't. Oh, it's another four from there. Possibly. I don't know because it fell out. So I don't know if it's. Um, yeah, I think that is actually red oxide. I'm going to leave my water over there because I'm getting in everybody's way over there, aren't I? I'm putting my hand in the way apart from when my glue decides to fall. Right, so I want to if that's about one, two, three, four, about there. That red oxide, no, that's brown. I think it's here. I think the red oxide is in the wrong place. I think it's this one. Is it? Yes, I would say that's definitely red oxide. Okay, so that one was uh, violet. So I'm going to... 
I'm going to now use with a smaller brush. I don't know what I'm doing, so don't worry about it. We're going <laughs> we're just going to do some lines like this. I was watching the lady do this this morning. Uh, what's that lady called? I can't remember where she's from actually because I think she's English from the UK or Welsh or something. Um, 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 I wasn't listening, I was just watching. So, you know, the sound down. Sorry, I just switched it off to sneeze. So, if it, oh, do you know what? I've just come. Oh, let's do those little things look like this. Yeah, let's do that lot. This is like a version of those um, other things, but you can also turn your page around. You don't have to have it the same way. And this, I'm using it like like a pen rather than watercolour because watercolour what you normally do with that is actually um, build the colour up <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing look could even join them I suppose in certain ways I don't know no, I'm going to try and uh, have I got them oh no I've got them going the same way so I'll go the same way like that I do not know what I am doing, so I'm just I'm just carrying on, hoping for the best. So when I say that, that's what I mean. I don't mean I don't know what I'm doing. Here, help me. There we go. So that look, what's that look like? I don't know. What you could do then is um, I don't know. I just want fancy doing some more of those. And I've got an idea of them. Okay. Ooh. Because it's going to be... You can stick to... By the way, you can, don't have to stick to... Uh, you don't have to be college. You can stick to several different shades or something. So I don't know whether to stick to... Um, perhaps a blue and a brown or a blue and a red. This is a blue now. I'm trying not to go over that. Although it won't matter because I can come along with a pen. One time, yeah. I'm going to go leave that one and do this one. Yeah, I was probably thinking of doing all different colours and I thought, no, sometimes it looks best with just a few colours, doesn't it? I know, I know what colour I'm going to do the other bit. Yeah, I know. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's stick. It's like a brown. I'm thinking of a brownie colour. Right, so leave that one. Do this one. It's getting a bit. We're getting a bit pale now. What's that one? Just using that blue though it is um supposed to be middle ultramarine i thought it might be bright blue though i don't know i think it's supposed to be bright blue and i've got it in the wrong place right, that's what our shower does you hear that if you hear that that's what our shower does when you finish <laughs> yeah, and if you can hear another noise it's the fan it's hot I had to switch it on i was like Ugh. yeah Right, the other colour, let's have a look. Oh, and I've got, oh, I've got, oh, yeah, it's, um, it's like a uh, yellow ochre. That's what I was thinking. Right, so what I'm thinking is, for the next two, I know we're going to get a bit more colourful, but I'm going to use yellow. Okay, I'm just using yellow straight from the, um, I can't see what that says, not. It's called sun yellow, apparently, yeah. 
So those ones there, the one at the top and the bottom are both in yellow. Okay. I'm going to not rinse the brush very well, so it's sort of like a probably slightly more yellow green than it was, and that's Hooker's, Hooker's Green. I'm not making, I might not go as far as even that because I'm only planning on a um, four inch one. Right, I'm going to do green for that one actually. Let's do that. Uh, now let's go for teal green. Teal green. I'll go for teal green. I don't know why I just fancy teal green around this bit. Plain, look, yeah, plain, yeah, because we can make marks on it. Uh, I don't fancy putting black for some reason. Not black, no, we don't want black. I'll tell you why we don't want black, because we've got black pens. I'll use that, what's it called, dark brown. And because I've got, I can see that line, I can follow it. Even though it's going to bleed a bit. again do you know what I can't even see my, you probably can almost see my nose that's a lot of, well you probably probably can it's that big no <laughs> it's not it's not got big I've not got big nose it's wide oh. my nose comes from way back in the family somewhere I know I can tell you why because my second cousin's sons this is two second cousins and their three of their three sons between them um all have noses like me but they don't even realize that I haven't told them actually I haven't seen I bet they haven't even noticed but I showed my family and said look don't their noses like <laughs> Oh, don't his nose because I think there's only one of them on Facebook. So <laughs> I'm gonna put a bit of yellow around the edge, I think. Yeah, see this these things come to you as you go. So I might only go that far because that's my four inches. Okay, so if you can find something of four inches to draw around or whatever you like, and then go smaller if you're doing lids or something. And then I'm going to put yellow around here as well. Yeah. Let's give it a slight look. Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? I know that's got more of a pattern than anything, but hey, I'm going to pattern. I'm going to find some pens now while I'm while I'm waiting for it to dry a bit more. Okay, and then we'll see what we can do with that then. Okay, virtually dry. Okay, I've only been a few minutes. So I've just taken the time just to find some pens. I've got to try some white. These are Uniposca PC1M. I find these a little bit more better than the 1MR because the 1MR is really uh, probably haven't got much ink in it. Okay, look at that. Really badly drawn, that yeah. But hey, I'm <laughs> Right, so what you could do, right, I'm just going around the edge of that white. Do anything you like. You could probably think of some amazing ideas. How about, let's do a little thingy in the circle, in the circle. Let's do a thingy in the circle. I meant the centre. Okay, and we've got, like, how many points to this circle? One, two, three, four sort of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was just thinking you could make, put sort of like flower petals like this. Everywhere I've got the blue I can do a flower petal but I'm going to do opposites because that might be easier. Okay like this. 
Well, that looks a bit like a propeller-ish, doesn't it? I don't know how many, how many things has a propeller got, I don't know. Right. Oh yeah, I tell you what you could do as well, if you want, you could almost add more paint, couldn't you? That's not very strong, is it? See, this is usually strong, but I've probably used it all now. This one's been going in, I've got the date on this. I wanted to make sure I used them in order, November 2019. It's still going. And then you can, I suppose, instead of perhaps calling them in, I'm going to do that. That's that sort of finished is it often, doesn't it? And then perhaps a couple of little dots at the top, three if possible. Okay, yeah, that might help. Yeah, how about you that here? Right, I'm going to put a little um, gold circle here. Okay, oops, in between each petal. Okay, there we go. Right then, do you think we want to now? We think we, right, the, oh, that's, these are uniball, uh, very good, very good, uniball signet. In fact, the white one's usually very good, unless it runs out. In fact, there it is. Sometimes it, but if they do run out, I tell you, you can tap them sometimes, it helps them work. In fact, that, has, that is working now at the moment. So I could have used that, but anyway, let's go around. The, I'm going around the edge of this white with this. Um, it is some sort of Uniball Eye Micro. This one, they are similar pens but slightly different names. Well, I can't even go around the edge properly, like there. I got, uh, can't, see, can't see where I'm going, that's why. Right, okay, and you can't see my nose yet, can you? Right. right, so I'm going to go around the edge of that, yeah, like that, yep, there we go, so I might go somewhere else yet, but I don't know, sort of emphasises that a bit, doesn't it? And I don't know what to do next, don't know whether to uh, come along like that. I don't know, shall we do that just once? Yeah, how about that? That's nice, isn't it? That looks really good, actually. I don't know about you, then we can come along and do some circles here. Now, I'm going to do this right, okay, so like that like that and then a triangle in, in inside it like that it's a bit like an animal in a way do not it you got two eyes two ears sort of you know, like a fox perhaps we could put a circle at the end for a nose <laughs> yeah something like that oh i've gone along there i didn't do that under that but there we go that's what we're doing now we're going along there as well so up here up there along here and up there as well and a triangle there i go yeah, I did, didn't I? Somehow... Um, let's put gold. Let's do gold. We're going to colour these black things in gold here. Let's try to see if this one does work. Let's try it on that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go a little bit. It's double. It does double. Which is not a bad thing sometimes, but if it, only, if it keeps up, it's okay. Um, yeah, like we did on that one. Let's do white on this one. If it, nah. Nah, it's not doing it. No, nah, it's not having it. Let's see if I can use this one again. So what I was doing is just trying to come along here like that. Okay, and then I'm not going into that when I come to there. I'm just leaving it there. I 
again I'm going to go around it with a black yeah I'm, colouring it. I'm trying to colour it so it doesn't I'm trying to make a thicker line because it's a really thin pen but I'm not trying to make it like sketchy like that you know what I mean like that I'm not doing that I'm trying to make it so it's yeah one continuous line so I'm just going over it again yeah we can turn it round can't we fancy making another line I don't know parallel line to it like this might be hard to draw you got a compass you could well I don't know because it might not be quite the circle it was <laughs> but anyway we can just if you can just imagine a little gap between there and that and it doesn't matter if you don't do it straight because it's just design and it's only paper and pens and we're only having fun there we go okay we're not being serious I like to be light-hearted and um, helpful hopefully so what you could do yeah is like this look so it's like you can imagine that and then join up the line yeah so you want to do that sort of like imagine it's sort of there and join up right so that might be a bit too close but hey we're, we're getting there aren't we and you can do it perhaps you could even do it like this just try and do and just join them up yay yeah, we join. It could even do that. Actually, faux stitching. Yes, we can do faux stitching in one part, can't we? As well, if you like, no problem. Because faux stitching looks absolutely amazing. I'm trying to keep in the same place. <laughs> it's just yeah, because I might be doing a bit of closey, closey uppy work. Right. What I like to do then is oh, I'm fancy doing them. I don't know. Shall we do those? It might be on this might be time lapse if I do because it takes ages. I'm gonna do perhaps do these. I'm not doing them so close together as sometimes I do them. Uh, eighth of an inch apart, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking if you you know, if you find, feel that you've done something you don't like, I suppose you could make it in stages, couldn't you? I mean, you could sort of like cut that bit out if you like that bit and put it on a new one of those. So if you don't feel you haven't done I could try that. I might even do that myself, yeah. <laughs> I don't know yet, do we? <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. Right, okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now. I can't see anything in my head. Right, in my in my mind's eye, what we got? I, and the only thing I did actually have is this. So I don't even know where the line is, so I'm just following the line that I've painted. So I can't see the actual line. So we're not bothered about that anymore. We're not bothered about the where the line was. I'm just trying to keep that so it doesn't. Not bothered about where the line was or just where it is now. I think I did actually colour that on slightly. I think that might be it there actually. But hey, we're not bothered, are we? We're just doing it. So I'm doing a single, more like a single line now because I want to just see if I can do a circle. You could again use your whatever you've used to do it if you like. If you, if you find that you can't, I, mean, I don't even know if that's any good. It's not bad, is it? Um, just fancy doing one of these again. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So again, you can do it like this. You can make little um, marks and join them up. So it's not my husband. He's big, Mark. He's six foot two. So <sighs> he's six foot two and eyes are blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah as you know.
yeah so doing it yourself is actually a bit of a practice in accuracy <laughs> but i don't know right then so now we're going to do oh yeah they might take ages might they so I'm, i was thinking about doing little bunny ears as i call them like this around the edge but i want to make them a little bit bigger actually because they might not take so long or you could do it like this even so it's like the petals in a way like these but then we're going across opposite so through the middle there to here that's got to be about that far away that's a bit i think that is slightly different but hey yeah making sure we're not getting this way we're going that way because <laughs> i know what i'm like yeah and we're going in the middle yeah like that and then we can do we can you could go next to each other but i'm just saying i don't know what i'm actually doing yet so don't worry just what i'd feel just get a picture in my head and that's it that's what you do you just get a idea in your head and you do it okay i said i didn't have it what i was doing there but i did see the line in my head so what was i talking about yeah oh another thing yeah the blue it's quite near the blue isn't it oh it isn't <laughs> never mind some of it is right okay and then you just go in between lot like this yeah so Right then, instead of going again, let's do some little things like that. Yeah, I've got that off my dad, I think. <laughs> He said, I said to him, why, why do you do so-and-so? He says, to break up the tedium. I can't remember what he did, but that's basically what I just did just then, didn't I? I'll break up the tedium by doing <laughs> doing there instead of... <laughs> I've just got this one as well. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, that one's okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, if we missed that one out. I could have missed it out. I don't know. Right, so this, I think, if you are doing these and you're not constant, but sort of like wanting to be straight, right, so I aim for the middle sort of thing. I think I'm going off the middle, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm used to doing things like this. So if you're not, you want to sort of aim for the middle if you can, like that. Perhaps aim for the middle and do the opposite one here somewhere. How about that one? Yeah, things like that. Yeah, so that's pretty good isn't it yeah i don't know if uh, how we want to do now so i might colour in something gold here or something should we do this bit i'm going to do this bit gold it's a choice really i'm colouring that bit in gold yeah there look right then right now what we're going to do now is i've got thought this uh, before let's do little stripes here so about four here
And then now I'm going to put a little dot here. Right. Oh, that nice. Right then, so let's have a look, see how big it is. I can't remember now, is it? It's not full. Right. So I was thinking. Yeah, so probably circles or something in here. Yeah, like this. I suppose you could do methodologically, you can do ex <laughs> to exact places, but I just went round the circle willy-nilly as it as it came, really. Okay, I suppose you could even colour them in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do some face stitching round the edge now. So nearly, 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 nearly. Do you know what? I'm going to get a, um, I might get that compass at four inches, see if I can do it. I bet it's going to be really, let's see if it's lopsided or not. It might be. If it's too lopsided, I'm not going to use it. I'll just use where, the, where I've done the. Uh, I've put my compass away, of course what happens don't it? this is why I leave things out because I know if I put it away I'm going to use it again right so two I put the, set this compass at two inches which will be four won't it let's see how we go that looks like the middle that's actually a little bit bigger than four isn't it no we're way off we're way off so what I might do then is just cut out the um, gold. <laughs> I didn't need that after all, did I? Right, so I'm going to cut that out as, as um, this bit out now. Okay. In gold. I'm just looking for. I'm just looking for a pair of scissors. Oh, here's a pair. Yeah, I'm trying to organise my desk. I've got. I've got um, new drawers for my birthday, which is not not till Saturday, but my. This came today and today, yesterday, yesterday, and of course I put them up. So I'm just going to go around the edge without even drawing another line because it was so out, <laughs> it was way out. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it's really, really nice, isn't it? Right then, I'm going to, um, let's see, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a copy actually in my journal, I think, um, not the actual one, because, I don't know, <laughs> I mean, you could, oh, where's my, do you know what, I've lost it, and it's there, this has got to go to somebody else by next week. It's down there, hiding. Right, that's not the front, this is the front. So on one of these pages I want to put this. Not right there, is it? That's not the right colour. Oh, not quite nice on that. Yeah, I think right in the middle of the page I could... About there. It's nice on the black. I've got another black page, but I think I've used it. For something, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's supposed to be to do with cards. That's why they're, yeah. That's all oh, the green, the green, the green. You can see that. 
that looks nice there doesn't it I know it's not going to come up perhaps gold unless you colour the <laughs> recolour it in with pen. Yeah. You can make a little flat if you make that and do that on word and reduce it. You can make little flower heads with it. Yeah, it looks all right on the. So far, I like it on the green back of that envelope. Which I might do actually. Yeah, yeah. Ignore those. Do you know what? <laughs> it's because I put them there and I did them exactly opposite. So they went there, and it it was massive. So I've put them in different places on the other side, and I'm I'm going to do some sort of collage there. So ignore that. Right. Okay. Um. Let's have a look. Have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. I don't think there's any more spaces. Look, that's my girl. Right, I'm think. What was I thinking? Something. I was going to say something about her. Oh yeah, she is. Um, yeah, I forgot. I, I think it's worth mentioning that she is was physical. That was a packaging thing. The head. I attached it to something by that sort of like six by six paper that was actually amazon packaging plaited you can tell <laughs> i could tell there i don't know if you can see that anyway i think i do like it on the back of that best yeah i think so that looks really nice against that green it's got something about it isn't it yeah even though i, I don't really need to, i'm going to do that but I'm going to make some small ones, so I'll be back in a minute. Right then, so what I've done is, <laughs> I've done all these lot, I've done this size one. Right, so that's the original, okay, so, yeah, I've got some little ones. That one's slightly smaller, that one's slightly bigger. Didn't get one the same size for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> then I did these mini ones, which were about an inch round and then these must be about, is it about two inches round I didn't measure them I just did them all right so there's the yeah there's those house and those yeah, so let's move these out the way then we're going to yes yeah, so all those little marks you're thinking what are they they're just um, bits of paint that got on the glass that I need to clean off eventually okay all right so there's that one or this one, I could actually, you could actually go over that actually in, in uh, gold if you wanted. I wanted to put the big one on, I don't know, is the little one better? Yeah, I think the little one looks better. Yeah, mm. so I'm going to put the little one on, I think, rather than the big one. Okay, and I'm going to try and fit it sort of in the middle somewhere here. I'd say, if anything, slightly higher, if you put it slightly lower, I think it looks... It's the design thing. Yeah. Something we did at, I don't know, we did at college, I'm not sure. So. So it doesn't really matter which way round it goes, does it? But I'd rather have the heavy stuff at the bottom like this and the light stuff at the top. So let's see if I can get that. Anywhere like in the middle. One of those, actually, one of those at the top. One of, think about those petals. That is, is that too high? No. I would say that's that's okay. I know it's sort of like way way above there, but I'd rather it be way above there than too low. Okay, and I've got, I've got glue on it. I think I've got glue on there, not, not that, it's, that it's coming off, but it might be because it's the paper. Yeah, the paper's uh, printed, so it could be that. Yeah, it's fine. It just looks part of it. I just don't want it shining up, shining up with glue, do I? That's the only thing I don't definitely don't want. I've got glue over somewhere, but... Oh, it's there. Let's see if that does work. Oops. Oops. 
glue rubber. I've had this many years. I didn't even know it was a glue rubber until recently. <laughs> Hold on, is it coming off? Was it just popping the paper? I don't think there's any glue to pull off, actually. Is there? I don't know. Do you know what? It's probably actually working. It probably was glue then. <laughs> there you go. Right, so let's put that, put, pop that back in there where it was. I can see it. Yeah. Right then, so that's that then. So, okay, so there we go. So, if you like my content today, look at all these content to show you. All these, I'm thinking about putting these down a page actually. These little ones here. So, your mandala could be used for, for lots of different things if you can make them small. For example, let's get them along here. What I've done is also ink them up. Now you could have them along. I've got nine of these. I think that's plenty to go along the edge. So that's another page edger I've done, isn't it? We could put three big ones. <laughs> well, where's the other ones? There they are. Yeah, so you could put those along the edge. Oh, they look nice. Oh, I'll tell you what else you could do, which would look nice, if you've got a strip of paper. Right, I'm going to try that. Let me just try that. I'm going to come back because obviously the time's marching on. Right, so what I've done is got this um, strip of coffee dyed or whatever it is. I don't know, it's just printed paper that I've had. That I've uh, that I've done. I've got off Etsy actually ages ago, and about two years ago. And uh, I've got my own type underneath. Um, so I printed the paper first, and then because if you, if you use, I don't imagine if you use coffee dyed paper, it might. Well, well, my printer would. I don't know about yours, but my printer would. You know, be protest quite bitterly about that, and it would chew the paper up yeah I'm afraid it would so I was thinking like this so then I put two white lines down because I thought it looked too dark and it needed some edge or other this is actually the paper size so it's got seven yeah it's got seven so that's the length of the paper there and that's so that design wise let's have a look one two three four yeah, so two, three, and that perhaps need to put that one in first. Right, I'm going to move these. I'm going to put these in the order. Okay, so I'm going to sort of like give it a bit of a. Just making sure that's the right size. Right size, I mean right way round. Right size. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm that bothered about which way round they go. I know there's something slightly smaller than others I'm going to put that in the middle ish there so that would go there I'm going to glue it in glue it in so from our pages in the UK these uh, that's how it would go so these are inch so it's, you've got a bit more room if you if you've got letter paper I mean most most of my subscribers are um, American that's what I'm thinking Right, so um, so perhaps the edge one's next, and then you've just got to fit the other two in, haven't you? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's not exact, does it? It's as long as it looks nice. And I think I'm making am another amazing page edger for your, for your collection. Yeah, so that's another little tight. Let's just get that, see if so it's all round the right way. I'm going to get a glue cloth on that one. Ooh. Need a glue cloth. Oh, it's, it's the big one. Let's see if I can cut a bit of it off. There we go. <laughs> then I don't have to drag it all out here. Okay, then I'm going to put that one up there. Okay, so I'm going to get a little... I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I point of the red bit, one of the big red bits at the top. I know it's odd. Right. Um, I mean, you could have them like that even, couldn't you? Because that would look nice. But I'm going to get them all in, I'm afraid, yeah. So we're going to get them all in, yeah. yeah. You 
you can't really get them any more different than that unless you've got slightly wider ones so so I'm just looking to see how far they are apart yeah so yeah so about there then yep yeah, okay so I'm doing this one yes needs to be about there checking these yes looks nice I suppose you could even have them like that if you wanted sort of thing but I'm doing them in the middle that'd be fun wouldn't it see if I can get that in between those two yeah very smartly yeah Let's see if I can. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing after. Well, oh, can you actually see what I'm doing? Where is the, I can't even see the thing. Hopefully you can. Um, there, eh? Hey? There ish. And then you want that there ish. If I can move it down a little bit. No, we're not. That'll do. I am not going to complain. I suppose another thing you could do is actually just glue them on and then cut them off wherever you like, even if it's slightly above it or whatever. That would work as well because then it just looks like a strip. We can make strips of this, yeah, lots of them. I've got I've got 90 of these actually, actually I've got less than that now. I've got 84, hmm, <laughs> I know 84. 83 right because of your seven well, I can't count and I can't measure so there we go right so let's find a place look that's nice isn't it well I did that on video didn't I see that one I haven't done it I haven't put it out yet this is my birthday video oh, how about the on top of that <laughs> now I'm thinking about a brown page uh, I was thinking there wasn't I, so perhaps slightly in like that. That one's nice. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. That's the bad page. Yeah, I'm going to sort that one out. Don't worry, um, Marion. <laughs> Marion's my partner. I don't know if she'll see this, but well. No, because of the brown, I don't think that would. I think that I need some things for some things, don't I? Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We've got that one. Yeah, that that complement that one. Yeah, I'm going to put it there because then we've got the thing where the queen is. That's got a nice little. Yes, very good. That one in top. That's got a nice little, yes, very good, that one, isn't it? I thought, the Queen of Hearts, why not? For that picture. She says, but I'm only half here. No, you're not. You don't worry about that because your, your other half, the other half is, is around. Don't worry. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put it slightly against, uh, slightly from the edge. Like this, not right up against the edge. Oh dear, we're not quite. Oh dear, we're not quite. We're not quite. Um, tall. We're we not quite tall enough. I hope you are. Oh well, that'll do. Do you know what? Then we can do, can't we? We can just edge it in something. I'm going to put a black line here. Can we see that? No, no, we can't. But that wasn't quite. Trust me, lot, to do it wrong. That wasn't quite big enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one down here as well because I've had to pull it up. There we go. That's that's done that, hasn't it? I'd also could also go around the edge and it black as well. That looks nice, doesn't it now? So now what I can do for my pack shot as I call it, because I got that from college, <laughs> uh, I can use all these kinds of so mandala jobs. Yeah, and there's your page edger. So that's the that's the um, 
bit, isn't it? That's the one that I did. And that's the copies. Yeah. Right then, I do hope you like my content today. I know I've gone way over what I should have done. But uh, it's my birthday. It's my birthday video. So, yeah, you must give me a thumbs up for my birthday video, please. That'd be absolutely amazing. And if you like this idea too. Uh, so that's, um, you know, birthday video. People like might, might like it for my birthday video. Some people might like it for my... Because I like the content. Shame you can't give me two likes, isn't it? <laughs> and then... Um, and... Um, if you'd like, to, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. That would be absolutely amazing. Let's get more for my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and um, yes, I've got papers on Kofi, haven't I? As well. So if you got want to look at Kofi, and you'd like the papers on there, for example, oh dear, that's got a massive hole in it, but you know things like this leafy paper and um i've got lots of different ones as well and um so just follow the link in the description and it'll lead you there and if you'd like to give me a donation that's absolutely fine if you can't that's fine too don't worry about that just put zero because it does ask for money but don't give me a few pence because i'll go for to paypal <laughs> So don't worry. If you can't give me any, just put a, put a zero there. That is absolutely fine. I'd love to know what you do in my papers. Um, I could get a f one person, possibly two people, have told me what they do. So you know. And if you do give me a donation, I do always spend it on craft stuff. And there's a gorgeous little Pomeranian dog. I don't, I don't know if it's crossed with a Chihuahua or not absolutely gorgeous just walking past oh, it's absolutely gorgeous if our dog knew about it he'll be barking his head off <laughs> he's asleep I think he's asleep bless him right then so if you've heard this buzzing all the time just excuse that that's just the fan so I'll just say goodbye now and thank you so much for watching on my birthday thank you and goodbye